everybody. Welcome to Makeup University. I'm Sherilyn. Thank you so much for joining me today. Hey, this video, anybody and everybody can watch it, but it is specifically intended for my single moms, love you ladies, for my single seniors, people who are more mature and at home alone, and just for those who are getting ready for what is going on in the world. I have some fun tips I wanted to share with you. They are not makeup related, so if you are normally a Makeup University viewer and you tuned in for a makeup video, stay tuned. We are still gonna have so much fun and I think I have something for you. Okay, when I'm making this video, I'm here in the living room. I've got handy dandy table right here. I've got some more supplies on the couch behind me and you were just gonna see me go back and forth to get the props that I need to demonstrate what I'm teaching you today. So, I'm in the greater Los Angeles area and I moved here from Country Bumpkinville, small town, so far from anything and everything, no delivery possible. Amazon's two day shipping usually took three. So I'm sharing all of this because right now it's quarantine time. We are sheltering in most of us. Okay, don't panic. That is the most important thing, is to just really keep your sound mind about you. And why I'm making this video is because, call it a gut feeling, I'm pointing to my gut, gut feeling. Call it just been in a small town, always being prepared because I was so far from any resources, there was no run out and go to the store run out and get anything because it was about 40 miles to run out to 40 miles back home that's an 80 mile round trip if i'm going to town i am going to town so you guys i'm telling you this challenge that we're going through i think it's so much like a birthing pain like when you know you're about to have that baby and you have those birth pains but you haven't had the baby yet I think going into the first week of April and Passover that, you know what, we got to really push through these final days. And I think that there is a very strong chance, especially in the big cities like Los Angeles, that I think there is a really, really good, I'm hoping I'm wrong, but wrong or right, I'm prepared. Are you? Are you ready if the power gets shut off or it gets metered out or the water is turned off or it gets metered out because all of the resources have to be directed to the hospitals, to first responders, to those at most risk and you know, love Star Trek, sometimes the one has to sacrifice for the greater good. So what that brings me to, my friends, is I think your home right now needs to be prepared for possibly enduring like 10 days of rationed power and rationed water. And it is no big deal, my friends, because I have lived in Countryville and we were just always prepared for if there was a storm and the power went out or something happened because we were the furthest from town they take care of the townspeople first then the suburbs and then the bumpkins you know we're usually the last so here's my point let's talk about water first and water is going to be in two parts because i will have to take you to the bathroom to show you the other end of it but right now this is what's key I'm gonna reach over here and I have two different sizes I'm gonna show you and then one big one because and that's the second video this is part part one haha <laughs> okay so see this it's just a bottle of water uh, you may have already bought some bottled water 
<laughs> well, well, around Los Angeles, everybody bought up everything. So here's my thought and my first tip for you, and that is it's important to have this and this. Why are these important? Because after you drink the water, glug, 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 keep this. If you've already put stuff out in your recycle, I encourage you to go get it. And especially my single seniors, my single ladies, and my single moms who have kids at home, if the water is rationed. Like people from Venezuela, they got this down. But people who live in the city and who are used to everything being on demand when demanded might be caught unaware. And that's why I'm making this video for you. Get your recycles, fill it up with tap water, put it by the bathroom sink so you have teeth brushing water. Put it by the sink so you have hand washing water. Keep one of these per day, okay? Keep one of these per day and know that if you need to wash hands, wash dishes, and you need to be conservative in what you're washing, it, it's just the idea that you have your drinking water supply on hand, one gallon per person per day. And then you have wash water already stored up next to the sink, under the sink. If you're lucky enough to have a garage, well, it's in there. Or maybe you just set these down in the whole closet, but you have them. And again, I say this to just single seniors who you're home alone and right now you're depending on your church to be able to bring out supplies to you to help you. So grateful for that. But I'm also aware that if there is more of a tightening down, like we got to tighten our belts, you guys. We just have to, for like probably the next 10 days, tighten our belts and be self-sufficient. And we already have our water stored up. And moms, this is a fun one. I, I have a soap refill for the refills in the house for the soap because my child loves liquid soap. I know it's more expensive. I know you go through it faster. I like a bar. My child likes liquid. I've already made up. So maybe you have a soap refill or there's something in the recycle. The thing is it already has soapy wash water ready. So uh, we're going to go over how to do a little bird bath, how to manually flush toilets in the second part two video. But I'm telling you, the two most important things are going to be water and power. And if you have a little hibachi that you can grill outside to get hot food, uh, that way you're not waiting for your electric stove or your microwave to come on. I wish I had my hibachi. I can see it. It's out there on the porch in Arizona and I don't have it. I don't have one here. But if you have your outdoor barbecue and you have propane, then you can do some cooking. Otherwise, moms, sorry, I don't mean to turn my back on you. As I wish I had the big table. Um, coming up to April 1st, maybe do a nice big crock pot of a soup, a stew, a little bit of meal planning, today and tomorrow would be a good thing and my single ladies single seniors people who are home alone it's so important for you to just prepare okay the next thing is this i highly recommend this is a freezer bag that you fill this up and freeze it don't fill it up to the top fill it up and maybe I'll make a third video and show you how to do it, but it's pretty self-explanatory. Fill this up, leave a little gap of air, plimp, 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 squeeze out the little bit of air so it becomes a solid brick. And now maybe your refrigerator has an ice maker and you have lots of ice, but imagine if you had to go 10 days and the power was a trickle or was turned on for a little bit. Here's my point. You wanna make sure that you have plenty of ice if somebody slips and falls and you need to have it for medical regions, reasons, pardon me, or if you just need to have extra ice for your camping cooler or in your refrigerator to keep that food closed longer, I don't know that I need to tell you this, but I'm gonna tell you anyhow. If there is a trickle of power or power is turned on and off, only open that freezer, only open that refrigerator 
once. Get that stuff out, use it twice, put it back in, you're done, you're done. Because you need to preserve the coolness and it won't last that long. So have your ice packs ready. You can make those, those are affordable. And a real focus for this video is that you have all these supplies on hand. I know that right now, moms, people in their apartments, you have Tupperwares. If you're in Texas, you have your Cool Whip tubs. Uh, you have things right now that you could clean and fill with water and have it to the side. We're going to talk about power next. And here's my, uh, hmm, gee, Sherilyn, you're just crazy. Why would we do all this? Two reasons. When Noah was told build an ark, they had never even seen rain and it was brand new territory. Kind of like what we're dealing with in the United States and worldwide right now. This is brand new territory. Hello, 2020 brand new era. Nice to meet ya. I think it's good to look back at history and see what happened and be planning for that future. And there's a favorite Bible story of mine and it's about the 10 virgins who filled up their oil and their lamps and they were going out because they were gonna meet the bridegroom and this is gonna be so good. And they were prepared and they didn't know when the bridegroom was come. But there was half of them that didn't have any oil and they were asking the prepared ones, hey, give us some of that. But there wasn't enough. They were prepared for the situation. So here's the thing. I love Jocko Willing's teaching. And it, uh, you know, when it hits the fan, he always says good. So here's what I want you to take away. If you do the preparation with the water and the power, we're gonna talk about power right now, and nothing happens. It's like April 3rd, April 4th, not even a flicker of the lights, nothing's happened. Well, good. You have just taught yourself how to prepare. You have practiced how to prepare. You're good. If something does happen, well then there's nothing to worry about. You're prepared. It's so win-win. So here's the other thing. We're going to talk about power. So if the power is metered, uh, we don't know if it's metered as a trickle. We don't know if it is my block gets it for two hours, your block gets it for the next two hours. We don't know. It's brand new territory. Every device as of April 1st needs to be fully charged. This is my everyday phone. This is my old phone. I will have this charged. I will have the Kindle charged. I will have my travel backup battery that does USB charged. Okay, cords are easily acceptable. Here's the thing. In these 10 days of pressing on through have your heart and mind ready, set up for if I'm not going to have my on demand, my SVODs, if I'm not going to have subscription video on demand, what am I going to do? Because remember, if you have that two hours, maybe it's six hours, it's all brand new territory of electricity. Sure, that's a time to charge, recharge, or use your television or use anything that uses power. But I'm here to tell you. Bing, Ned Ryerson's, be ready, have your devices charged up, and moms, because uh, you know your, your, your children might get a little squirty on you, it would be a good time to have uh, old school DVDs ready, have some books ready, have pencils, pads, markers, board games, because if you can't use your device for hours at a time, a new world for us but I really think preparing is going to be so important and I had to make a list because I saw this was getting long and I wanted it to be 10 minutes but I'm over so you guys we talked about wash water I'm gonna go make you a part two to show you one more way to do wash water preparation and we talked about having some bottles next to the sinks for teeth brushing hand washing uh, light dishes now is the time to use paper plates I think um power prep oh if you can like tomorrow the next day before april 1st pick up some batteries or some candles do it just in case and then um your flashlights i have a flashlight that you shake it to get power to it it's also like a workout 
and I really wish I had, it's at, it's at the other house, I wish I had the hand crank radio to get updates. I think our phones will carry the updates like the emergency broadcast system. I'm not sure. So it's one more reason to be like, oh, bing, I need to make sure it has charge. When we go to the next location, we're going to talk about potty solutions and that's okay. We'll move over and do the next location. I thank you so much for watching this. And on a personal note, I really debated on whether to even make the videos, but I figured if one person watches and has water stored up for just in case, has an extra battery and charge on their phone, well, okay, it's just in case. And I just really hope that it helps somebody because Country Bumpkin Living is so amazing. It's so nice to be out and away from town. And I flipped that with, it's so good to be in town and have on-demand restaurants, places to go, things to do within blocks of me versus 40 miles one way. So the point of this video was to encourage you, to help you prepare, because when you help yourself, you also help your neighbor. And I just hope this really made a difference for you. Get ready, April 1st through the 10th just might be the bumpiest time we've seen in a long time. And I encourage you to tighten your belt like a superhero, not like, oh, there's lack, but like, do you remember how Batman, he just clicks on that utility belt? That's the way I interpret tighten your belt is that I am like a superhero and I am ready. My household is ready. My pets have water and food. This fish, you can hear his filter. He has his extra water and food. You guys, taking the extra steps to prepare right now is a great way to demonstrate self-sufficiency as well as being a great neighbor because maybe your neighbor doesn't know and is scared and you're able to say, don't worry. I have a bottle of water you can use. Ah, the goodness of it. Okay, stay tuned. Part two is coming up right now. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, subscribe, ding the bell, share, all that good stuff. Hey, I'm Cheryl Lynn. This is Makeup University. And remember, you look really gorgeous today.